Hi, my name is Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today, my little dog decided to go ahead and join us. His name is Willie. He's so evil. I know he doesn't look like it, but trust me, he is. He's a little evil dog, but I love him to death. Today, I am bringing you my hashtag my first project pan viewer collab with Leticia Sanchez. I'll link her channel down below, and a lot of other wonderful ladies have also joined, and I will leave their Instagram names down below. I will go ahead and put everybody's picture that decided to share with me their progress right here. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and first share with you my empties. I'm going to put little Willie down. Let's see if he fights me on that. The first one that I have <laughs> is the Bath and Body Works Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. And I know that it doesn't look like it, but I can't squeeze any more out. And I'm not all about uh, cutting it open because I have enough lotions and I'm getting kind of sick and tired of them. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, this is all done. Next one, I am so relieved to be finally, finally done. This is so old that it's actually discontinued, and that's saying something. And it is the Biolage Smoothing Serum. I'm so happy to be done with this. You have no idea. It was great. Don't get me wrong. But this little sample, it had to go. It was a one-ounce sample, and you only needed a little bit. I'm so relieved that it's gone. If you saw my quick update uh, not too long ago, you'll know that I uh, actually gave up my Too Faced Something About Barry to a friend of mine, and she absolutely loves it. So it was worth it. It was definitely worth it to me to give it to her because she loves it. It looks good on her. So I'm glad that it went to a really good home. Now to show you the things that I have progress on. The first one is the Renewed Hope in a Jar. I use this every morning. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there really isn't much left. But I will tell you this. Um, I'm hoping that I could finish this before the first. I don't know if I can, but I will try. Just using it normally. But on the first... I do have another project pan that I'm going into, and I'm going to be using another day moisturizer. It is an illuminating uh, facial moisturizer, and I am going to kind of push some of my illuminating stuff out because I have combo to oily skin, and summer's coming up, spring and summer, and I don't want to look overly oily, and I wish I would have thought of that before, but I didn't. So I don't know if you'll see much progress on this. I will do my best between now and the first. The next one that you'll definitely be seeing progress on is uh, the Renewed Hope in a Jar. This is the Overnight Recharging and Refining Moisturizer. It doesn't look like there's much progress. You only need a little tiny bit. Now, if you remember in my previous videos, I talked about the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream, and I put them in two of these little tiny uh, sample, the, these empty sample jars that I have. And this is my first one, and this is where I am right now. I didn't even realize I hit the bottom. But I don't have much left of that, and then I'll be moving on to the second jar. But not done yet. Not done yet. As I'm sure you guys know, eye creams take a long time, even if it's a sample. And this was a liberal sample. This was a 0.34 ounce sample, and I believe I got it at Sephora uh, with a code. So, and it's, it's an okay moisturizer. I wouldn't repurchase it or anything, but it's all right. Next thing that I have is the Philosophy Time in a Bottle. This is the Daily Age Defying Serum. This is where I started, right here. This is uh, 
my first update and this is where I am now. I use this morning and night. I use about two pumps of this so it's going pretty consistent. I'm pretty happy with that. I wanted to make sure that once it was activated that I use this within three months and not just forget about it and go to different uh, sample size serums so I wanted to make sure that I did use this up. It's alright, I like it. Now the final thing is my NYX lip pencil and it is in Nude Truffle. That's how much I have left guys. I'll show you on my notebook. This is where I was February 1st. This is where I was the last update. And this is where I am now. Let's see if I could show you the best that I can. Can you see that? Obviously, I don't count the plastic part. There you go. Not much left. And I should be able to finish this. I'm hoping really soon. I'm kind of over lip liners. And I have one more that's going to go into another project, and then I'm going to be done. Unless I get one in, a, you know, a Sephora Play or a BoxyCharm or something. Other than that, I'm, I'm done. So that is my update for the hashtag My First Project Pan. Uh, make sure that you go ahead and check the description box below for all the other wonderful ladies that are participating. And head over to Leticia's channel. You'll love her if you haven't checked her out already, which I'm sure you have. You definitely need to. So uh, if you want to go ahead and contact me, all my information will be in the description box below. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.